In today's video, you will learn how to use layer masks, clipping masks, and the quick shape tool. I know that using masks can sound a bit scary, but don't worry. By the end of this video, it will all make sense to you and you won't want to live without these features anymore. We're going to create one of these geometric watercolor leaders. These are really fun to make and always look stunning. Let's start by creating a new canvas and the screen size canvas is totally fine. To start out, we want to give our canvas a little bit of texture. And I always like using a paper texture background. So for this purpose, I'm going to use my Watercolor Paper 5 brush and paint in the background texture just like that. I'm going to leave links to all the brushes in this tutorial in the description box of this video. If you don't have some of the brushes that I'm going to use today, it's not a problem. You can also use some of the Procreate default brushes. Now let's open the layers panel and let's duplicate this layer. We want to set the top layer to blend mode multiply and then the bottom layer to blend mode color burn. Now we're going to group both of these layers and we're also going to lock the layer so that we're not accidentally painting on it. Now we can add some new layers but what we want to make sure is that this layer group always stays at the top and that we're creating all our artwork on the layers below. Now we're going to select the bottom layer and we are going to add some text. Open up the wrench tool, go to add and then tap on add text and we're going to write the number two here then double tap on that number and tap on that font name to select a different font name. I'm going to select the font Bookman Heavy, but if you don't have this particular font, I'm also going to leave a link in the description box of this video with an alternate Google font that you can use for this as well. We're going to make this character as large as it goes and then we are going to select it and we can make it even a little bit bigger. You just want to have a nice amount of spacing around your character. You can turn on that snapping tool here as well and then you can align your letter directly in the center of the canvas. Next up we are going to create our geometric shapes and in order to do that we are going to select a new layer and we are going to turn on the clipping mask. What this does is it clips every pixel to to the layer below so that you can't go outside the boundaries of this letter. We're going to change that color to white and now we're going to choose a different brush. The brush that I like using for this is in the Procreate Calligraphy set and it's the monoline brush so we're going to select this. The brush size that I'm going to use is set to 60%. And so now we go to create some lines in our letter. This is where the quick shape tool comes in. So you can start by drawing a line and then without lifting the Apple Pencil, wait for that line to form. And you can see here now that you have editing capabilities of your line. So you want to create a line and it has these two handles. So now we can arrange these exactly how we want here on the screen. Once you're finished editing, you can tap anywhere on the screen. And so now we're going to create some zigzag lines all around this number. And every time we create a line, we're going to invoke the quick shape tool, tap on it, and so we can edit the line and place it precisely where we want it to be. Once you've placed the line, you won't be able to move it anymore. So you want to be a little bit careful where you place the line. But as long as you're in edit mode, you can still move the line around any way you want. And then next up we want to fill our shape with watercolor and again we're going to create a new layer and we are going to add a clipping mask so that we don't go outside the boundaries of our letter. And now because the watercolor is not 100% opaque I recommend that you change the color of your underlying letter first. So we're going to tap on this letter and then we're going to make this a light gray color. So you can make this as light as you would like just so you can barely see it but so that your watercolor is not going to be too much affected. And then we're going to go back on our clip layer and now we're going to paint in some watercolors. For the watercolor painting I'm using the ultimate watercolor brush which is part of my watercolor extension brush set and now I'm just going to paint in my favorite colors. Of course you can choose any color that you would like. You can't really make any mistakes here. So now we're just going to start painting and you can see that we are painting over the lines here but this is not a problem we can fix this really easily a little bit later and of course it's totally up to you what types of colors you would like to use here absolutely feel free to use your favorite color scheme as a next step we're going to move our colored layer below the white lines like this and so now we can see how it has adjusted this now we're going to use that smudging tool and we're going to smudge out these colors a little bit to make them blend into each other a little bit nicer. 
This is always my favorite step. I really love doing this and seeing how all the colors flow into each other so beautifully. And then of course, if you feel that you need to change the colors a little bit, definitely feel free to change back to your painting brush and then maybe paint in some more colors where you feel it's needed. And now in order to give our letter a little bit more of a 3D look, we're going to add another layer and you can add this layer above the colors here. And you can see now when you add a new layer, the clipping mask has already been activated. So definitely make sure that you have the clipping mask on here as well. And we're also changing this to blend mode overlay. And so now what we're gonna do is change our color to black. We're going to select the soft airbrush, which is also a default Procreate brush. And so now we're going to find the edges here a little bit so we're going to paint in a slight shadow at the edge of our shape here and this creates a really really nice definition you don't have to be too precise when you're doing this if you feel like you've added a little bit too much you can use that smudging tool and then you can even this out and create a lot smoother transition here and then we're going to carry on all the way around and so now of course this looks already really nice and we could leave it like this but let's add a little bit more interest and let's add some little lines here and in order to do that we're going to create a grid so we're going to tap on the range tool again and then tap on canvas and tap on drawing guide and so now we're going to edit the drawing guide a little bit in order to help us draw straight lines we're going to set the grid to 40 pixels and then we're also going to decrease the opacity a little bit and then tap on done. And so the reason why I've done this is because this really helps us draw straight line like you will see in a minute. We're gonna go back to our monoline brush and this time we're going to set it to 20% and we're gonna use black. Of course, we're going to create a new layer and this time we don't want to have that clipping mask. So definitely make sure you add it above all your other layers. And then what we're going to do here is turn on the assisted mode. So tap on the layer thumbnail and then tap on drawing assist like this. And now you can see here that this is an assisted layer. And what this means is now it will stick to the guidelines that you've just created. So now you can only draw straight lines like this. So this makes it really, really easy to draw the lines that we want to create. So now what we're going to do is create eight straight lines next to each other. And you will see in a second what we're going to use them for. And so this is really easy. This is super, super easy to create these lines. You can just draw them randomly like this and they automatically snap into place, which is really nice. And then having the guidelines also makes sure that you have the exact same spacing between all the lines. So we're gonna draw about eight lines and so this is good. So now what we wanna do is use these lines and add them to our shape to create a little bit more interest. And what I recommend you do is that you duplicate this layer and then keep this layer as a spare layer. We're also going to unselect that drawing assist because we don't need this anymore. And so now we can grab these lines and we can place them anywhere here on our shape, for example here might be really nice and you can see that it doesn't quite fill this part of the shape yet so what we're going to do is just duplicate this and then we are going to move it down here and so now this is looking great so now we can merge these two layers together like this and now it's time to turn on our clipping mask make sure that you move this layer directly above all your other layers with the clipping mask and you can see how it's automatically selected the clipping mask and now it's clipped the shape to our number here of course we don't want too many of the lines so now what we can do is just erase the ones that we don't want so now there's still a little bit of an overlap here, but this is not a problem. What we're going to do now is move this layer below our white lines and then the black lines will get hidden automatically. So now you can see that there's still some color underneath the black lines and that distracts from the black lines a little bit. And of course we could now tap on our color layer and we could erase this, but a much better way of doing this and also working non-destructively is by using a layer mask. So we're going to tap on the layer thumbnail and then activate the mask here. So now this creates a new layer directly above our color layer that says layer mask. And now in order to hide the color that's here, we are going to choose a black color 
And then you can use the monoline brush again for those and now erase the color. You can make it as big as it goes, of course, and then that makes it a little bit faster. Now we're going to do the same thing in a couple of other spots here as well. So we're going to grab that spare copy, make another copy, turn on that visibility, and now we can move this into place. I think it will look really nice here. So I'm just aligning it with the white line that's already there and then moving it into place like this. And then we're going to move it below the white lines again, which automatically turns on that clipping mask, which is really handy. And then we are going to erase the lines that we don't want. And you can see here now that the erasing is a little bit difficult. And this is because I've still got the assisted layer turned on. So definitely make sure that you're turning off drawing assist and now you can paint normally on this layer like this. And then again, we're going to go back to our colored layer and we're going to select the layer mask. Make sure that you're drawing directly on the layer mask and not on your colored layer. And you can see that you've got the layer mask selected because it's dark blue. And so now we can erase this part here. So this looks nice, but I think it would be nice if we had something down here as well. So we are going to repeat the process create a duplicate, turn the layer assist off, and then we can grab this and move it into place. I think it would be nice if it was here as well. Then we're going to move this below our white lines again. And I think we need another white line here actually. So I'm going to draw this in now. So I'm going to change to the white color. Set my brush size to 60% and then I think I'm going to draw the line here. Edit and then I can align it here with my black line just like this. And now we can remove the black lines that we don't need again. And then we're going to go back to our layer mask and then we are going to mask out the colors here. So now this is looking really good. At this stage, you might also want to change the background color of your letter to the white color because it sort of shines through a little bit gray, which is not so nice. So you can tap on the letter and then you can change it to white here. And now it looks really good. And while we still have the grid lines here, we might also want to take advantage of this and add some lettering here at the bottom. Definitely make sure that you do this on a new layer. I'm going to select black to start with and for the lettering I'm going to use one of my lettering brushes. I'm going to use the IPL watercolor dry edge lettering brush for this. And so now for that lettering style of course it's up to you. Maybe we could use an uppercase style like this and draw in this watercolor lettering. The lettering is a little bit irregular because the brush is quite random in how it places the color on the canvas. So now what we can do is duplicate this a few times to get the consistency that you like. And I think this looks quite nice. So we're going to merge the two layers down. And then if you wanted to, you could also color in this lettering. And you can do this in one or two ways. The first option is to turn on alpha lock so that you can paint directly on this layer. But now that we've learned how to use clipping masks, I think that's a much better option. So you can add a new layer and then you can turn on the clipping mask and now we can paint on this layer. Similarly to what we've done with the number two here. So we can use the same colors. I think they would look quite nice and we can also use the same brush and now we can and fill in our letters like that. And again, if you don't think this is saturated enough, definitely feel free to duplicate this layer. So then the letters become a little bit more saturated and we can merge down the layers. And then again, use the smudging tool to even out the colors a little bit. So now you can see you've still got the nice watercolor texture, but then you also have that really nice color blend here as well. And now we can turn off our drawing guide. And there you have it. This is a geometric letter where you've learned how to use the clipping mask, the layer mask and also that quick shape tool. I really hope you found this video useful. Make sure you leave a comment to let me know how you found this tutorial and also if you would like me to make other tutorials.